Hello Cancer, welcome to your February 2017 general monthly tarot scope reading. Thank you so much for joining me. I already shuffled all the cards and laid your spread just to save time on camera. For those of you who are new to my channel, my name is Leanne. Welcome, nice to meet you. You will eventually meet my dog Mason. He's the mascot around here. A few quick side notes, guys. I already emailed out the mid-month update as well as the other blog posts for the month of January. So if you are on our news newsletter email list, then you should have received those in your inbox. If you know you're on our email list and you did not receive those updates, then please check your spam folder. We may have landed in there and put our email on your white list so that future mailings don't land in your spam or your trash folder. I mean, it kind of defeats the purpose of signing up, you know, to receive the updates. So the, the email is leanne at theintuitivepen.com. Make sure that you add that. And um, also, I, oh, and for those of you who are not on the email newsletter list, I encourage you to sign up for it. The link is in the description box below. I don't spam and all that stuff. Um, I just send out quality content, so you'll get your mid-month update channeled writings for all 12 signs, your new moon, full moon posts, and anything else I decide uh, to write on. I hope to expand on that more in 2017. Also, the month of February, I'm going to be taking some time off, a week, 10 days, maybe longer, haven't fully decided yet. Uh, so now is a good time to order a reading and take advantage of the New Year sale price that is still going on. I think it ends on February 10th. So book your reading because um, I haven't fully decided how long I'm going to be gone yet. Um, you know, that's the beauty of working for yourself, so I can kind of be flexible with that. Um, but definitely uh, get books for your reading. Uh, so that, uh, you know, you have that ready to go before I head out for a while. All right, Cancer. So this is some very interesting energy for you. Very interesting uh, in, uh, energy. It feels like you're, there's going to be, there's a personal breakthrough that's trying to come through here. And there's been a little bit of a start and a stop going on. Um, you've wanted to move forward, but there's been some fear involved and you've wanted to move forward, but circumstances have held you back and you're kind of waiting for some chapter to close out and, you know, finish itself, come to a culmination point, you know, the karmic cycle being done, etc., so that you can kind of move on and, and reinvent yourself. So in the center here, this is the, um, current situation. So this card either represents you individually your situation, the environment that you're in, or the energy that's swirling around you. And you have the Emperor card in the upright position. So basically, this is the like this is father energy, but it's also a card that's order and control, power, personal power. Okay, now some of you, this is a situation that has power and control over you that has kept you stuck in a rut that you can't get out of. Others of you, this is you who is learning how to take your personal power back so that you no longer put up with X, Y, and Z in a current situation that you've been putting up with for too long. Father energy as well, okay? So some of you are dealing with a father figure. This could be your actual father. This could be a close friend, an older sibling, uh, you know, a grandfather, an uncle. Um, and it doesn't have to be a man. Obviously, this is masculine energy, so this can be a female. But the whole thing about it is, you know, father energy is like, you know, a mentor, uh, you know, somebody that you go to for guidance, somebody that you go to for direction. Um, so some of you have this person in your life. Others of you, if you don't have a person like this in your life, like I said, either this is you learning how to step into these shoes or you're relying on your faith and spirituality, the God of your understanding, your angels, your spirit guides, etc. But definitely where this card is concerned, there's order and control and power. So some of you too, in terms of a situation, there could be a set of, you know, like a sequence of events that has to take place first before you're freed from it. So like contracts, negotiations, fine print, uh, legal you know, legalities, a legal system where it has to kind of go through these spe specific steps for it to be put through the system and, and um, decided on. So that could be going on here as well. Now, 
in your past to your recent past to even still trickling around in your present and or the struggle, okay? The challenge is the hangman in the reverse position. So this is basically useless sacrifice. You've been spinning your wheels, stuck in a rut, wasting time, wasting energy, or waiting around too long for something to change. This is also a card that represents a false sense of security. So some of you have stayed in relationships or marriages much longer than you needed to because of the insecurity that you feel about getting out of it or the fear of the unknown of living your life as a free and independent person or the you know just the false sense of security that the marriage brings. Some of you if you're females, you know, the, the marriage could be a source not only of that security blanket and your spouse and you know the, the reputation and you know the false sense of security that comes with feeling like you're teamed up in a marriage but also finances can be an issue for some of you out there as well uh, mostly women i mean there could be men you know that were the stay-at-home parents and the woman was out there uh you know being the breadwinner but the majority of you women out there you know involved in a in a marriage that has lasted too long and you've been wanting out for a while but you feel stuck, finances could be definitely included in that because the marriage is your financial security, your foundation, your bedrock. And you know that if you step out and away from it, you're going to be forfeiting, you know, assets and shared accounts and all of that kind of stuff. So that could definitely be going on here as well. But whatever it is, whether there's finances involved or not, whether you're a man or a woman, it doesn't matter. This card is all about making a poor decision to stay in a situation that is bringing you false hope, false security, um, and is causing you to spin your wheels and stay stagnant and stay stuck. It is not adding to your growth as an individual or your soul evolution. You're using this as a place to hide out in or hide away in. So again, for some of you, this is a relationship or a marriage. Others of you, this could be career. You've been unhappy in your career for a long time. You're not doing, you know, what your heart wants to do or you're not really aligned with your true path, your true purpose, but you're just, you know, you have this job or this career. It pays well. The benefits are there. You're comfortable, you know, in in the life that you've created even though it's not really the life you want to live. And so you've stayed in this job for too long right? And life is too short, right? You know, it's like you got to get out there and start doing what it is that you really want to do. So again, for some of you, this could be career. Others of you, this could be a family situation with your uh, immediate family, you know, your family of origin or extended family. Um, that can play out in many different ways. So I'll just leave that right there. But this could definitely be some of you spinning your wheels in a family dynamic or family situation that's been dysfunctional, toxic, or abusive, waiting around for it to change, waiting around for it to get better, waiting around to receive the validation from your family or your parents uh, that you never got before. And it's holding you back in life. So it's interesting because it's like, you know, in your past to um, your challenge, it's spinning your wheels. It's st staying stuck in a rut. It's allowing yourself to stay here. Because whatever this um, situation is, you have had the choice of leaving. You don't have to stay here. You've never had to stay here. Okay? You've chosen to stay here. But now you're starting to move into the direction of taking your personal power back and letting go of that false sense of security and learning to be independent and step out on your own and be vulnerable and learn to be okay with it. You don't need this other person to quote unquote protect you, provide for you. You don't need the cloak of your family of origin to validate you in who you are meant to become in this life. Um, and or you don't need that corporate job that is providing all of your necessary basics, you know what I'm saying, even though you're not very happy in it. You know, you're compromising yourself to maintain this position because you think you need the paycheck and the benefits and the this and the that. When you could go out and create that for yourself. But most people are too scared to do that. It takes a lot of independence. It takes a lot of guts and glory and um, faith in yourself to step forward and create something for yourself. So a lot of you are on a path here to do that in one way or another. So that's, that's exciting.
okay? Now, the foundation or what can't be changed in your life or whatever this particular situation is, the three of wands in the reverse position. So something is just out of your reach here with whatever this situation is for you, whether this is professionally or personally. Attainment just slipping away, something slipping through your fingers, um, or dealing with the lack of cooperation from a partner, a spouse, a family member, an employer. You know, they're not cooperating with you or what it is that you want to do or whatever your needs are. They're kind of being all about themselves, right? So there is definitely feeling like Something's just out of your reach and you wish things could be different, but it's just never going to quite happen and you have to come to terms with that. Um, in order for you to move on because this situation in the foundation position, this is talking all about stunted growth, stunted growth professionally personally on a soul level your soul path your soul evolution your purpose for being here what you're meant to do here um, even in relationships there's stunted growth going on here obstacles blockages delays energetic shifts energetic blockages and or somebody standing in your way and not working with you they're working against you the overview position, now this card is in a position that's like the overview, I call it the umbrella, because it's the energy that's kind of over you, around you, surrounding you, uh, you know, the, the cloud that's over your head. You have the seven of wands in the upright position, so this is fire energy, and this is basically holding your own. Okay, standing your ground and or taking a stand in something for a cause or against something. So there is definitely this internal conflict here for cancer where you've been stuck in a situation for too long. It's built on a not so solid foundation and or has not enabled your personal growth and you are starting to take your personal power back and standing up for yourself. That's what's going on here. So yeah. Holding your own, taking a stand, drawing some boundaries. You could be holding firm against opposition with somebody else. There's matters that are going to be coming to a head in your life and whatever this situation is. For some of you, matters have already come to a head, but they're still exploding or still spewing, or there's the aftermath that some of you are dealing with. Others of you, matters have not come to a head yet. So you can feel that it's under the surface. You can feel that it's vibrating and you're bracing yourself for an eruption or for, you know, change on some level. And it's scary but exhilarating at the same time because you've been wanting to be freed from this situation for a long time. It's just fear that's been holding you back. So... You need to know, Cancer, that you are in a position of advantage here. This is not a card that's depicting you as the underdog or the person that's going to lose out. You're in a position of advantage, so you need to remember that in times of fear or when you get a little scared, vulnerable, or insecure. OK, um, you know, spirit wants you to keep your courage up, keep up the faith and have strength in adversity because you have all the tools in your toolbox to break free from whatever this is so that you can move on and fly higher. Now, interesting, OK, because in your future position and or the potential solution to dealing with this situation is the Ten of Swords in the reverse position. Hallelujah. So this card is indicating in its first definition in the reverse position as that, you know, the worst is over because Ten of Swords, we all know, is being stabbed in the back. It's lies, deceit, betrayal. Uh, somebody does something that is just, you know, blows your mind. It's, you know, there's somebody that you thought you could trust who turns on you or, you know, you know, betrays you, stabs you in the back and basically leaves you for dead. You know what I'm saying? In the reverse position, the worst is over. You have already sustained the blow. Most of you have already sustained the blow. Some of you have not. Like I said, it's coming and you can feel it under the surface. And if you have not sustained the blow yet, just know that you will come out on the other side of it. So stay strong during the, during the storm, okay? The rest of you watching this, you've already sustained the blow. And the worst is over. Change is coming in for the better here. Okay, this cycle here that's going on is coming to an end because the number 10 in numerology is all about ending. 
endings and beginnings, ending the old, you know, closing out an old chapter, cutting karmic ties, something is coming to fruition, something is coming full circle, okay? So with this ending of a cycle will bring in a new beginning for you. You are emerging literally from the valley of darkness in whatever, whatever, you know, issue or or blow you took. I mean, for everybody, it's going to be different and it's going to be varying degrees, but you are a survivor and you have survived a disastrous situation where this is concerned. Now, the negative meaning of this card in the reverse position, and I'm just going to throw this out there because I think this is for a small percentage of you. The negative meaning is that a drastic change is coming in. It's the Ten of Swords in the upright position on steroids, okay? So this could mean a chronic drawn out issue or chronic drawn out problems, the constant reoccurrence of past difficulties. This can even indicate serious illness either in you or somebody else in your life and that the worst is yet to come. Now, don't freak out and think, oh my God, oh my God, my life is going to blow up and everything is going to fall apart and the worst is yet to come. No, that's for a small percentage of you because again, this card has two meanings in the reverse position. So I just have to be honest and throw it out there. Most of you watching this video, you already know the hell that you've been through. You've already sustained the blow. So don't think that, oh my God, I've already taken one hit. Another one is coming in. Could it happen for some of you? Yes, it just depends on your circumstances. But, you know, I choose to look at the positive here and the positive says that the, the worst is over and you're going to be coming out the other side of this. The pain is going to be dwindling. It doesn't mean you're not still going to be cleaning up a little bit of the aftermath or dealing with, you know, your highs and your lows, but you're, 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 you're coming out of this. You see what I mean? You're just, you're coming back from that place of dis utter despair depression, uh, suicidal thoughts for some of you, just a very bleak and dark time, okay? The, the sun's going to come out again. Trust me. Don't give up. Now, this card represents how you see yourself. So Cancer has the Empress in the reverse position as how you see yourself, how you feel about yourself. And the Empress in reverse is all about black development, so right now, you are your own worst enemy when it comes to moving on and up, moving out and away, healing your wounds and progressing further. The Empress in the upright position is mother energy, mother energy of nurturing, right? Fruitfulness, abundance, healing, even fertility, Fertility, pregnancy, birth, it can be literally or fertility, pregnancy, and birth of new ideas, new concepts, a new path in life. So it can be metaphorically speaking as well. But this card is absolutely all about nurturing, nurturing energy, nurturing somebody, nurturing you, or nurturing the self, self-love, self-care. Um, what's the third one? I always say it. Why am I drawing a blank here? Self-love, self-care, self something. I don't know, it'll come to me. Comment in the comment in the you know comment section below and let me know what I'm what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I say it all the time in all my videos, and I can't believe I'm having like a dumb moment. Where where to go? Anyways, nurturing, nurturing, nurturing energy, mothering energy. Now, some of you don't have a mother figure in your life. You never had a mother figure in your life. Or the mother figure that you did have was not a very good one. So you don't know what nurturing, honest, true nurturing feels like. And you don't even really know how to do it for yourself. Okay? Um, and you're learning that. Others of you, um, you know, you might have people in your life, a mother figure, mother energy, siblings, friends who are there for you and etc. But they can only carry you so far. The rest of it is up to you. It's on your shoulders. It's your responsibility. So the empress in reverse position is nothing more than blocked development. And this is how you see yourself. You see yourself as a person who is blocked. Blocked in your own personal development. Blocked in your emotional maturity. Blocked in progressing on your soul's path. Blocked in the ability to move forward and leave the disaster and the heartache behind. Maybe some of you are just still stunned about this situation and you are in a, a period and a level of grief 
that is still too deep to work out of. So you're blocked from moving forward because you're still in the pit. Um, so this can come in many different forms. Some of you are, are just in a situation, a circumstance right now that you are just blocked. Others of you have the green light to move on and away from this, but you're still choosing to stay in it and you're blocking yourself from moving on and spreading your wings. Now, which takes me to the next card. This card here is what you fear. And this is a very interesting card to come out for what a person fears. You have the Nine of Cups. And this is a fabulous, wonderful card. So it's interesting that this is what you're scared of. Nine of Cups, cups hold water, water is emotion. You know, your cup runneth over your heart cracking wide open, getting back in touch with who you are, finding your true self, being authentic, allowing yourself to feel the feelings that you've been running away from or stuffing down. The Nine of Cups is also the wish card, meaning a wish can and will come true for you. And this is a card that says your desires would be fulfilled. Material benefits, you got plenty of them. Eat, drink, be merry. Money in the bank, you know, feeling wealthy, rich, and abundant, and prosperous, prosperous in other ways outside of material gain. The freedom of your life, the freedom of having your independence, the freedom of making your own decisions and not having to answer to somebody else. Again, whether it's professionally or personally. So cancers out there are scared that their wish could come true if they break free from the dysfunction, step out on their own, and embrace change. You're scared to death of being successful. That's what this card says. You sabotage yourself in a lot of ways. You hold yourself back. You are your own worst enemy. You talk yourself out of things. You have ne negative self-talk, negative outlook, negative paradigm, self-sabotaging paradigm, not embracing positivity. Your point of attraction is where you're currently vibrating at. So if you're vibrating at a lower level and you're sabotaging yourself, then you are going to continue to draw in experiences that sabotage you moving forward. So cancer is very scared of being out on their own. That's what these cards are saying. I'm sure I got some cancers out there. They're going to write me and say, oh, not me. I'm fully independent and this and that. Well, then this message isn't for you. Watch your, your rising and your moon sign because your messages may be there. This is talking about cancers who are scared to uh, fully take responsibility for themselves, to fully take responsibility for their choices, to fully take responsibility for their lives and their own happiness. They have been spending their time, their years, waiting for somebody else to fill them up. Waiting for somebody else to make them happy. Reaching for things outside of themselves to draw in in order to fill a void. When cancer needs to fill cancer's own void. I mean, this is definitely a time of personal growth and evolution on a soul level. You are stuck in a rut because you reach for things outside of yourself to bring you security. It's time. Spirit is trying to say your wildest dreams are right there. Right there in front of you if you reach out and grab them. But cancer has been too scared of it. So I find that very interesting. The outcome is the queen of wands. In the upright position. So this is very interesting because this card basically depicts a queen, I'm sorry, a career woman. So either this is you or this is a woman in your life or somebody, a man in your life with these qualities and characteristics, okay? So the queen of wands is basically career woman or balancing family and career interests, learning to find that balance in, in your life. Definitely queen of hearth and home. It's like the glue that holds everyone together, okay? This is definitely mama bear. You know, this is a matriarch of the family. This is the one that everybody goes to, to, um, you know, get advice, to have a soft place to land, to wipe their noses and kick, kiss their boo-boos, <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, for guidance and for direction. 
She's got it all. She's got the mothering touch for a newborn baby and a toddler all the way up to the guidance and mentorship of an adult. Uh, you know, she's got the nurturing energy plus the business sense. So this is interesting because it's like, you know, personal ambition, especially where wands are concerned because wands is fire energy. So this is all about, you know, the queen of, of wands is the center of attention. Like I said, she's the matriarch that everybody comes to. Everybody wants to go over to her house to get some need met or fulfilled. Center of attention. Everybody wants a piece of her action right? What she says goes, but she's very sensible. She's not egotistical and domineering and all that. She's very sensible. She's like, you know, just what am I trying to say? You know, like just that neighborhood mom that everybody loves, you know, everybody loves this woman. So being kind, being generous, being independent at the same time, being career minded and business savvy, yet soft and embracing, uh, go going after a venture and having a successful outcome. This is the outcome position for cancers. So this is saying that the outcome here, if you allow yourself to grow and change, if you allow yourself to embrace change instead of shut it out. If you allow yourself to feel what it is that you need to feel in order to heal it so that you can move on. If you unblock yourself and allow, you know, that nurturing energy to come in, love thyself, honor thyself. If you embrace the fear of the unknown and go after your goals, your dreams, your aspirations, you know what I mean? And stop doing the 3D lower vibrational thing and really stand, step into who you're supposed to be. Stand in your light. The world is your oyster. Your dreams do come true. And if you allow that flow of energy to come in and embrace it and stop being scared about it, then the outcome will be wonderful. You know, this is what you have to look forward to. This is balancing everything. You know, you've got the love for yourself. You got a good family life, whatever that means for you, a nice home. You know, and it's not just, I'm not talking about a nice home in terms of materialism. I'm talking about there's a difference between a house and a home. You're going to be creating a home, right? Warmth, uh, security, nurturing, love, all of that stuff. Career, doing what you love, bringing in that you know, the, the fulfillment and the satisfaction that comes along with that. Um, and, you know, this, this is the ultimate person who has it all. Now, whatever that means for you, it doesn't mean that you have to be the richest person in the world, you know, with the biggest house, the shiniest car, and all the money in the bank. People find wealth in many ways. There are a lot of people out there who don't have a lot of money, but they feel very wealthy and abundant and prosperous and blessed with the smaller things in life. There's people out there that like it simple. Uh, quality over quantity. They don't have to be flashy. They don't have to do all of that. Um, and so this is definitely that kind of energy. This isn't greedy and selfish and materialistic and, you know, uh, my life is better than yours. This is stepping into your true, true, authentic self and allowing yourself to grow and blossom into the queen or king that you're meant to become. Right now, you're too busy sabotaging yourself to see how good you have it or how good you could have it. So that's very interesting, Cancer. This is personal breakthrough time. Some of you are going to take the plunge, leap into the unknown, and embrace the personal breakthrough. Others of you are going to choose to be scared of it. You're going to choose to stay stuck in your habits and your addictions and your little bubble. And you're going to stunt your own growth. You're going to continue to stunt your own growth. And you will start to go backwards in life instead of forwards. And it will manifest in severe stagnation and continued unhappiness. Let's get some clarity here. I don't know how much clarity we really need because this was a pretty straightforward reading. 
Let's get some clarification on the Empress card in the reverse position for Cancer, February 2017. What does Cancer need to know about the Empress card? Because this seems like a challenge to me. Even though this is how you see yourself, the challenge is over here. The challenge and how you see yourself are absolutely connected because you're allowing yourself to stay stuck in a rut and spin your wheels and expend waste, you know, wasteful um uh, you, I'm sorry, useless, useless sacrifice, wasting your energy. That's what I'm trying to say. Because you see yourself as this person over here. Block development, not worthy of. You know what I mean? All of that. Okay? Low self-esteem, low self-confidence. So this is your challenge. You've got some stuff to heal inside of you before you could ever step forward and embrace this. Empress in reverse position. Cancer, Cancer, Cancer. Empress card, reverse position. What does Cancer need to know about the Empress card? Definitely scattered energy. You got cards trying to fly out, pop out, whatever. Empress in reverse position. Empress in reverse position. What does Cancer need to know? about the Empress. What do they need clarity on? What do they need guidance on? And what do they need to overcome? Okay. Cut the deck. Five of Cups in the reverse position. Two of Cups in the reverse position. The Two of Wands. Hmm. Yeah. Oh boy. Yeah, you definitely have to take some time to go within and heal some stuff. And then you have to get back to work on yourself. And when you do that, you're going to start to see success. Okay, so I already told you what this means in the reverse position. We won't go over that again. The, some clarifying messages here. You have the five of cups in the reverse position. So the positive meaning of this card is that the pain is ending in whatever this situation is. The pain needs to end and or subside a little bit so that you stop blocking yourself so much. For some of you, the pain has been so intense, you've been running from it and not wanting to deal with it. You've been stuffing it down, pushing it away, and or using vices in order to self-medicate. Um, to so that you don't have to deal with the pain. So this is saying that the pain is ending or, or subsiding enough for you to step forward and face whatever this is or face your demons. You know what I mean? And hope will be renewed for you. Good news, you know, coming in. Your confidence could be returning. Things would be turning for the better. Now, in the, in the negative aspect of this card in the reverse position is that there is an extreme painful ending that is yet to come, an inevitable loss or an unexpected drastic change. I feel for most of you, you have already sustained this. I feel for most of you, the positive aspect of this card is coming in for you. For a select few of you, you know, you're, you're blocked. For a select few of you, you are blocked right now because you're stuck in a situation that has many tentacles and it's deep and complicated and you can't just walk away from it. So there could be a drastic change that needs to come in in order to end it so that you are freed from it. So again, you know, you're going to be a cancer on either side of the street. It just depends on what your story is. Then you have the two of cups in the reverse position. So this is the end of a relationship. Absolutely. This can be personal or professional. Parting ways, separation, incompatibility, not seeing eye to eye, arguments, conflict, okay? In terms of romance, definitely disillusionment, incompatibility, um, even unrequited love either on your side or their side. And, or this can also indicate infidelity as well. Infidelity, not trusting your partner, that kind of thing. Uh, so yeah, um, definitely need to end a relationship. And for some of you, it's already begun. Others of you, it could still happen and or be the drastic changes is talking about. But there's a relationship or a partnership Again, whether it's professional or personal, that needs to come to an end so that cancer can be freed. Two of Wands, upright position. Once you are freed from it, you'll be off to a good start. 
on your new path. Early stages of development um, and you know, just figuring out your next moves. And while you're figuring out your next moves, you kind of have an idea, but there could be a little bit of a wait and see. Page of Cups in reverse position, there's going to be some backlash uh, revolving around whatever this situation is. This is an in, immature individual. This can be a spoiled child as well. So either some of you are dealing with a spoiled child who's going to act out, or you're dealing with an adult who's supposed to be an adult, but emotionally they're immature. So they're going to be unhappy that you're getting out of this situation, that you're moving on and you're taking your power back. It's going to piss them off. It's going to make them feel insecure. They're going to come back around and, and try to be a brat about it or do something, you know, to, to uh, sabotage your forward moving progress. Definitely uh, emotionally unstable, insecure, and unhappy this person is. And there's, they're, they're, um, they can be shallow. They can be out of touch. Here we go. Here we go with Mason again. He did this yesterday when I was recording videos. I think it's Gemini's video he started barking in. It's the mailman. <laughs> He's downstairs. I'm not going to go downstairs and stop it. The mailman can only be at our mailbox for so long. So just bear with me, guys. Sorry about that. You know, dogs will be dogs. Anyways, page of cups in the reverse position. Um, definitely, this is a person who is refusing to grow up, grow, you know, grow. It's re they're refusing to mature. They're refusing to move on. So just know that that is a potential for some of you, that you could be dealing with somebody who's going to make it difficult for you to move on. King of Pentacles, reverse position, lack of business sense, vulgarity, dealing with a man who is mean. Now, it doesn't have to be a man. It could be a woman with these characteristics because it is a general reading, but this is masculine energy. Someone who is mean, who is greedy, who is selfish. They're grasping at straws. They're, they're heating up the argument. They're miserable. Greedy, greedy, greedy. It's a Pentacles card in the reverse position and a king. Greedy, greedy, greedy. I want, I want, I want. Gimme, gimme, gimme. It's all about me. So this goes hand in hand for some of you. This is the same person. It's an adult with these tendencies, but it's magnified because it's a king in the reverse. Definitely, you know, going to be dealing with some difficult energy there, whether it's a man or a woman. Ten of uh, Pentacles in the upright position. This is a good material abundance. This is a great money card. And it's also a card that's all about family support, family foundations and traditions, strong family ties, uh, or having people to depend on and rely on, financial security. Uh, so this is going to be a concern for some of you. Some of you, you're going to be leaning on your family of origin or your extended family to help you through this situation. Others of you are getting out of this situation. You're going to eventually create a new family of your own and you're getting out of this situation, you're gonna be making your own money, okay? Um, and also where children are concerned, this can indicate that you're still gonna have a good relationship with your children, even if you part ways from a spouse. Others of you, in terms of career, you could be leaving a career behind and relying on your family while you go through a transition, but whatever it is, this is a support network for you. Page of Wands in the reverse position. This is um, receiving some news that could leave you frazzled. It, it could be upsetting news. It could be good. It could be bad. It could be indifferent. For everybody, it's going to be different, right, depending on which cancer you are. This can also be receiving a curt reply from somebody or a rejection on some level, a letter of rejection, a text, an email. This could be professional letter of rejection um, or, uh, you know, uh, education-wise, University. This can also be rejection from uh, people in your circle or this person that you're trying to move away from. They could then use rejection as something against you because they're just hurt or they can't stand the fact that you're moving on. So, you know, quick dismissal, naysaying. Also, yeah, with this card, naysaying and gossip, just be aware of that. Keep your nose clean. This is a time for you to retreat. Uh, and take some time to yourself. The Four of Swords, absolutely. You need some rest and respite. You need to recharge your batteries, relax, renew, recuperate, recovery, retreat, relief, reevaluate. I'm trying to think of every re, you know, word I can think of. Yeah, this is you needing to take some time 
to withdraw from this situation, withdraw from confrontation, withdraw from anybody who is opposing you or trying to make things difficult for you. You need some time alone to gather your thoughts and to figure out what your next moves are and to, to really get in touch with your heart and who you are on the inside and what it is that you want to go after and pursue. Once you figure that out, Cancer, you're going to be getting to work. There, You're not going to be taking any shortcuts on the next stages of life, steps, development, initiation, new path, new chapter. Okay, So don't think that you can take any shortcuts to get to where it is you want to go. You're going to have to put in the elbow grease, the mind time, the dedication. Eight of Pentacles is the apprentice, apprentice or apprenticeship card. Working hard for what you want, honing your talent, your skills, and your abilities. Either Even further education, you might take a class online or a workshop or a weekend retreat or just getting some extra training. Definitely studying up on something and then putting what you've learned to practical use and just improving yourself also, not just in work, but improving yourself mentally, emotionally, physically, psychologically, and spiritually. You're going to be doing a lot of work on yourself. Um, and it's much needed because, again, you've been stagnant for way too long in your own personal growth. And finally, the Three of Wands in the upright position, which is interesting. This is the last clarifier card on this pile. When you had the Three of Wands in the reverse position in the foundation or what can't be changed, you know, something being just out of your reach, um, life not being built on a firm foundation, well, here you are. So spirit is trying to tell you that if you work on yourself and you honor yourself, you will be on the right path moving forward. This is the successful birth of an enterprise, a new project, a new idea, a new business or partnership, or even a creative project. Okay, very good. This is the initial stages of success. You're going to be putting your plans into action and you're going to be seeing rapid results and you will have favorable returns. But just remember, it's going to be in the beginning stages, so you're going to have to continue to set goals and keep working towards them and, you know, nurture nurture the new baby here because it's going to take a while for it to grow and, uh, you know, set down some roots, whatever it is, you know, whether, like I said, whether it's a business or whatever or your next venture or your next project or your next career. So, yeah, you, th this is good, very good, good news, good information, very much a soul growth reading here and um, a battle of the a personal battle of the will personal battle of the wills and or your personal will you know what I'm saying uh, um, and just getting back in touch with who you are so that was a very interesting reading write me let me know what you thought of it let's move on to your oracle cards okay also in the name of Valentine's Day, the love, uh, the month of love, and all of that. I pulled some romantic oracle cards for you as well. So we'll get to those. The first card that you have from the Spirit Oracle is action, taking action in your life, no longer sitting on the sidelines or putting your dreams on a shelf. Stop hesitating, Cancer. Movement creates the magic, nothing can hold you back. Wow. Do you not have a goosebump right now? Because I don't look at your oracle cards before I start the reading. Um, I usually don't look at the tarot cards either, but this month I did just because I got a shuffle and, you know what I mean, not waste so much time on camera. Um, but here you go. Action, action, action. Stop hesitating. Stop wasting your life. Movement creates magic. Nothing can hold you back. The only thing that's holding you back right now and will continue to is you. So it's time to take responsibility for yourself. Focus on service, the angels say. Interesting. Your soul desires only to joyfully serve and to swim in a constant stream of bliss. This stream continuously feeds you everything you need. Put your entire focus upon staying in this stream of giving and receiving in every situation and in all that you do. So this is definitely expressing to you to open yourself up to the figure eight you know, the, the infinite give and receive, what you put out, you will get back, that kind of thing. Focus on service and honoring yourself in the process. 
and you'll get more. You know, you're going to be raising your vibration, which is essentially raising your point of attraction, which is essentially creating the law of attraction on a higher level that will draw in new experiences uh, that, that you will love and adore and will change your life and, and improve it. You know, it'll be the nine of cups. You know, your wish is coming true. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay. Your romance oracle here. Wow. All right. The first card you got is free yourself. <laughs> I just can't help but chuckle because spirit absolutely works through these cards. It's time to take, con take back control of your life. It's time to take back control of your life. It's time to take your personal power back. Be the unicorn who frees yourself from this fenced-in area. You can't stay there anymore. It's been too long. It's time to get out and run like a wild horse and spread your wings to fly like you've never flown before. All right, Cancer? And also, romantic oracle, okay? So, free yourself. This is telling some Cancers out there to free yourself from your relationship. Um, others of you to free yourself from the chains around your heart that you have not allowed anybody else in in a while. Maybe some of you have been single for a long time. You've been wounded emotionally in a romantic sense and you haven't had a relationship since. Well, now Spirit is telling those of you that are in that situation to take the shackles off your heart and open yourself up to finding love again. So you see how this card can speak to many different people in uh, different areas of life? Interesting. Ooh, this could be the one. Ooh la la. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. Oh my goodness. How exciting is that? Now again, I know this isn't going to be for every, every cancer out there, but you know, some of you have already met this person. And either you know it or you don't know it. So, uh, you know, pay attention to the signs and the synchronicities. Keep an open mind. Mm-hmm. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. That's interesting. So, yeah. All right. I mean, that just speaks for itself. Keep an open mind. Whew. All right. Your, your uh, lover's oracle here. Acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times, we must accept things as they are. There is no point trying to change that which is beyond our control. Wow. Next one. Close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful. You can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in. Yep. That's so true. It all starts with you. And last but not least, Cancer, when you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories you have shared with those you love. Always remember this. It is not about 3D reality and materialism and the black and white thinking that our ego has us believing. We don't take anything with us from this world. The fancy house, the shiny cars, and the expensive shoes. Your status, you know what I mean? Your reputation, uh, you know, whatever. Nobody gives a shit. When you die, that uh, whatever. It's all left behind. It's meaningless. So, when you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories you have shared with those you love. And also the memories of those you, the memories that with the, blah, 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 blah. and also the memories that you have shared with those that you have hurt and trespassed against. So remember that moving forward because you don't want to be creating new karmic wheels. All right, Cancer, very interesting reading. I really hope that this helped you. Write me, let me know what you thought of it. Mwah, mwah. Thank you so much for joining me. Namaste. Have a wonderful month. We'll see you back here in March. Bye.